So prelims kicking off at 5 p.m. here on Sportsnet and on Fuel TV in the States, and then the main card on FX in the States. I think the whole card, though, on Sportsnet here in Canada. Nick Penner is 11-2. and two. Cody Donovan is 7-2. and two. Both minus 115. This one, a pick'em right now. Penner coming off a first-round TKO loss in his UFC debut. That was on March the 3rd in Australia to 13-7 and seven Anthony Paroche. While a Cody Donovan picked up a submission win here in Montreal on June the 29th at Instinct 4. Cody Donovan picking up a submission win over a 4-1 and one fighter named Peter Nolan here in his last bout this summer. A Penner has 5 of his 11 wins via submission with 4 knockouts and 2 decisions, while Donovan has 3 knockouts, 3 submissions, and 1 decision for 7 total wins. Donovan has 2 losses, both via knockout. Penner has 2 losses, 1 via knockout to Anthony Paroche, and the other a decision to 17-18 and 18 fighter Jimmy Ambrose back in 2008. Penner, though, was on an eight-fight win streak prior to entering the UFC with a win over Butterbean back in 2007. He's 32 years old from Manitoba, a Canadian. 0-1, though, in the UFC and has been fighting since 2007. Cody Donovan will be making his UFC debut, riding a three-fight win streak into this one. He's a year younger than Penner at 31. He's fighting out of the Grudge Training Center with Trevor Whitman and a bunch of very tough fighters out in Denver, Colorado. Uh, Donovan replacing an injured Eddie Mendez in November of this year, getting the call to fight Nick Penner. Interesting bout here. Don't know much about either guy, but uh, did not like what I saw from Nick Penner in his last bout. And, uh, you know, I think I remember Cody Donovan fighting here in Montreal. He looked pretty good. And, you know, Grudge Training Center, they're going to have great striking. The fact that Penner was just obliterated by Anthony Perosh in his last fight and knocked out quickly in the first round uh, makes me feel like going with Cody Donovan. I think I'm going to go with the newcomer to the UFC here in Cody Donovan, minus 115. This fight's a pick em. I like uh, the guy from Denver, Cody Donovan. Yeah, I'm going with Donovan as well uh, for that impressive win over Peter Nolan here in Montreal as well as uh, his where he's training out of the three-fight win streak, in my opinion, it's, uh, it, it's more impressive than uh, Nick Penner. So now we go into the lightweight division. It'll be Brendan Loftnain, 5-0, and o, taking on Mike Wilkinson, 7-0. and o. Loftnain uh, coming off a submission win over a 5-26 and 26 fighter named Danny Welsh on April 27th in Manchester, England. Both of these guys... Uh, are English fighters that competed on the Tough Smashes show. Lofnane suffered a three-round decision loss to Norman Park in the semifinals of Tough Smashes. He beat Patrick Iodice in the first round via decision. Lofnane, 22 years old, has been fighting since 2010. He's from Manchester, England. This will be his official UFC debut. He uh, is 5-0 and with two knockout wins, two, dis- two submissions, and one decision. Wilkinson is 7-0 and with four submission wins, two knockouts, and one decision. Before he entered the UFC uh, Ultimate Fighter, he got a decision win over a 4-1 and fighter named Brian Moore. That was in November of last year in Liverpool. Wilkinson was actually uh, victorious in the quarterfinals. A first-round submission win over an 8-0 fighter named Grant Blackler but uh, was unable to compete in the semifinals due to injury. So this guy, who knows? I mean, he could have wound up being the winner of this whole thing. He's 25 years old, has been fighting since 2009, and is from Wigan, England. Wilkinson, minus 225, the favorite. Lofnane, plus 175, the dog. I do not uh, disagree with the odds makers there. Wilkinson looks super tough on the show, picking up a submission win in the first round, but got hurt in that fight and was aim- unable to continue um, while Lofnane lost on the show. I like Wilkinson to win this fight, as do the odds makers in a major way. Well, considering both guys made it I- I- into the semifinals, but you know, as you mentioned, Wilkinson unable to uh, continue into the tournament. I really like this kind of about, though, the battle of the undefeated. One of my favorite and kind of difficult to pick. However, um, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go with the favorite on this one, Wilkinson, minus 225, simply for the fact that Lofnan, uh beat a guy that was 5-26, and, and that is re- 
ridiculously unimpressive. And he's not really undefeated, right? I mean, he did lose on the Ultimate Fighter. Those those fights don't count on your record, but hey. A loss is a loss, right? A loss is a loss. So we both like Mike Wilkinson to beat Brendan Lofnane on Friday night in Australia. We go to Manuel Rodriguez and Ben Alloway, two more guys uh, that competed on the Tough Smashes show. These guys competing at welterweight. Manuel Rodriguez, 9-3. and three. Ben Alloway is 12-3. and three. Rodriguez's fight just before entering the Ultimate Fighter was on May 18th of this year, losing via knockout to a 4-2 and two fighter named David Vergers. That was uh, in Australia. He's got 6 of 9 wins via submission, 2 decisions, and 1 knockout, while Ben Alloway picked up a TKO win over a 5-6 and six fighter named Rod Stodder on April 28th of this year in Australia before entering Tough Smashes. Once on the show, though, he picked up a TKO win over 12-2 and two, Valentino Petrescu and then lost a three-round, very close split decision to 8-1 and one Brad Scott in the semifinals. Uh, so Alloway, I think, had a pretty good performance on the show. Manuel Rodriguez looked good as well, picking up a first-round submission win over 8-1 and one Bola Omoyele on the uh, quarterfinal but was unable to compete into the semifinals uh, due to an injury he sustained in that first fight. So, you know, who knows how far Manuel Rodriguez would have uh, gone. He has a six of nine wins via submission, two decisions, one knockout. He has lost three times, though, one knockout, one submission, one decision. Alloway's losses all via submission with five wins via knockout, four submissions, and one decision. Alloway is 31 years old, has been fighting since 2010, and is riding a five-fight pro win streak into this one. Manuel Rodriguez is 27 years old, has been fighting since 2009. He's originally from El Salvador, but is fighting out of Sydney, Australia, while Alloway is from Queensland, Australia. Uh, Both, of course, making their official UFC debuts here. Alloway minus 220, the favorite. Rodriguez plus 170, the dog. Interesting matchup here. I was impressed by Ben Alloway on this season, but Manuel Rodriguez, uh, you know, looked very impressive as well, beating Bola Omoyele, and you don't really know how far he could have gone because he wasn't able to compete in the semifinals due to injury. Uh, that's really what's unfortunate is you can't really dictate uh, the potential of Rodriguez due to injury as a lot of, uh, the entire season could and would have been different if he had not been injured. And nonetheless, I, I'm i going to go with the favorite in this one. I'm going to go with Ben Alloway. I like the fact that he's riding a five-fight win streak, and uh, he's got uh, knockout power and submission, uh, good submissions. However, he has been submitted three times before. Nonetheless, I think he's uh, a pretty well-rounded fighter. And you know, Rodriguez is a, is a submissions expert. Six of nine wins via submission. Picked up a submission win on the Ultimate Fighter. This is a tough one to call, man. This is very tough. I was impressed by Alloway, but something is telling me go with Manuel Rodriguez. I don't know. Go with your gut, Dave. I'm going to go with the gut. I'm going to go with Manuel Rodriguez. Kevin's going to go with the favorite, Ben Alloway. 